Good morning. Today we are talking about uh, butt weld fitting and uh, here is a collection of uh, carbon steel butt weld fitting. This is a T, this is a concentric reducer, this is a reducing T, um, this is a 45 elbow, this is short radius 90 elbow, this is long radius 90 elbow, uh, this is a pipe cap and uh, this is uh, an eccentric reducer. These are some examples of butt weld fitting in uh, stainless steel. This is this particular one is a 304 stainless uh, T, and this is a stainless um, 90 degree elbow, and this is a, a stainless eccentric reducer. Now, butt weld fitting uh, is is available in um, carbon steel, in stainless steel, nickel alloy, um, and uh, the most common material for butt weld fitting is for carbon steel is A234WPB. Uh, the fittings are also available in carbon steel in high yield. You just have to uh, to specify that. All butt weld fitting uh, are made from a pipe. Uh, they use pipe as the starting material, um, and uh, commonly the smaller size uh, butt weld fittings are, are made of a, of a seamless pipe. But as you go bigger, usually larger than 18 inch nominal size, uh, these fittings are made off of a, off a welded pipe and they're also called uh, a welded uh, butt weld fitting. Um, to explain you the individual butt weld fitting, uh, again, this is a 45 degree uh, elbow and, and uh, if you notice, all butt weld fittings have a, a bevel uh, to weld and this is a pipe sample, two inch pipe sample that we are using. All these fittings are two inch fittings and the way you, uh, you uh, weld it is take a pipe, you should have a bevel here, uh, you butt it up, that's why they call it butt weld fitting and, and then you can, you can do a welding right here. You can do a full penetration weld uh, depending on your welding spec and then the other, and the other pipe uh, goes from here and it will make a, a 45 degree. This is a, a, a 90 degree. This is a short radius 90 degree. Now the difference between uh, a short radius 90 and, 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 and a long radius 90 is that uh, a short radius is a much tighter turn. Right? It depends on your piping program. If it calls for a tighter turn, then you will request a, a short radius 90 degree elbow. Otherwise, you will request a long radius. They both do the same thing. And as I showed you before, uh, you just you butt it up you weld it, the other piece goes here and then it makes uh, it makes a 90 degree right here. Same thing with the uh, long radius, uh, this is how you connect it and um, then the other portion goes right here. Now this is a T, um, this is this is a standard T. Um, the the main run and the branch are, are the same same size. This is two inch, and um, you do the same thing. You uh, connect the pipe like this, and, and, and you weld it, and you make a, a T connection. The T is also available in uh, uh, as a reducing T, and you can see that this is a two inch by uh, by three quarter inch. So it's a two inch run here, then it's reducing to a, a three quarter inch. Uh, and if, if, if your piping uh, installation calls for a reduction in the branch, then you will request a, a reducing T. Now one thing I want to mention is that all butt weld fittings uh, require you to specify the schedule. That's, that's how you determine uh, the, the wall thickness, the, the pressure rating. Uh, if you compare it with a socket weld or uh, a threaded fitting, they come in a 3,000 pound, 6,000 pound. Whereas a butt weld fitting comes in a schedule. 20, schedule 40, schedule 60, schedule 80, uh, standard extra heavy, double X heavy, you have to specify uh, the schedule of the pipe. Now this particular one is uh, a concentric reducer uh, 
and it reduces uh, from 2 inch uh, down to 1 inch or you can specify what reduction you want concentric reducer uh, this is an eccentric reducer same thing but uh, not in line so if your main branch is right here and, and you know depending on your uh, uh, installation if you want to be off axis then you put another pipe right here and uh, it makes an eccentric reducer so this is how the eccentric reducer looks like this is a pipe cap as the name says uh, you know used to cap the pipe so uh, if you have a pipe or a nozzle or, or, or something similar uh, you can butt it up and weld it and, uh, um, and, and, and cap the pipe so pipe cap uh, in summary uh, butt weld fitting uh, in, is available in, in carbon steel in stainless steel and nickel alloy uh, for butt weld fitting, you have to specify uh, the schedule. Uh, that's how the pressure rating is, is determined. You have to specify a schedule 40, 80, so on and so forth. Um, and uh, the most common material for butt weld fitting uh, in carbon steel is A234WPB. They're available in high yield, they're available in stainless, they're available in, uh, in, in, in nickel alloys. Um, that's it. Thank you.